Oh, that works too. <laughs> Do you see it? There's not enough damage here. We're, we're, I'm dead. Bye bye. There was a guy on the hill. Super unlucky. Never saw him. Okay. I wanted that car. I mean, I'm still trying to get it. This is... Oh my god. How unlucky am I today? Like, really? Unbelievable. I feel like... <laughs> I don't know what to say. On Twitter... Oh no, there's... A... Unbelievable. I, did, I didn't think someone was in there. Again, seriously, I feel like maybe this is just a day where I should be playing this game. One way I can I can you know actively reduce these these type of deaths that I'm experiencing, well, almost all every single death today, if not every single death, will be if I um, if I play more defensively and if I play less aggressively, uh, because you know and, and think more about protecting my back. Basically, <laughs> I think maybe that's going to be the play for now. Just take a few, take a little bit slow now, and and try to just protect myself a little bit better take control rather than just sit there and say bad luck we're, we're gonna we're gonna take some control here and take some uh what's it called some responsibility Loot gamble right now. Yeah. I, I could definitely hit a shot like that. I'm not so good with uh, red dot snipers though. I think I got shot in the back by DBS here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Gotta run away. If he pushes, I'll die instantly in a fight. the dbs very important to use cover like this against the dbs but even then at that range he, he can one shot you if he hits that
no, no, uh, no vest. I mean, no, uh, uh, first aid. These, these situations are so close. Lost the helmet now. And I cannot heal to full. Yeah, so basically, this is where I feel like I can no longer just protect myself the way I wanted, it, wanted to try. I have to take a risk now. Someone got banned for cheating. Look at that. Upper right corner. Get out of here. Someone here. Can't heal again. Okay. So I think I think the um, the approach to just play slower, take fewer risks, um, protect my back better, it worked. Right now, I also do think that that way of playing is is less less interesting. So that's why I typically don't do that. But, but now, I, I need to do it today, because I die all the time to people shooting me in my bag. Okay. All right. That was a, a spicy situation right there. I had to focus. <laughs> Use the carnated close range. Big balls. <laughs> you know, not really. The, the thing about it, uh, the way I see it, he was probably so low that he knew that there was no chance that he would win a, a, a straight-up duel where both players are shooting each other, right? Because he will just die first. Even though he's landing as, even, as good shots as I, you know? He's going to die first. He knew that. So I don't think it was like a big balls move. I think it was a clever, like an intelligent move to try to do something with a situation that otherwise seemed completely lost. So I think that was smart. It didn't work for him, but I think I think it was a big brain move and not a big balls move. That's how I see it. Thanks for all the great streams. What? <laughs> what manifesto? You can't do that. What? That fifty dollar donation manifesto? What the heck? <laughs> wow. Thank you very much for the festo. I love, I love 
wacky jack. That's a headshot. He's one shot away from dying. Thank you. That that's that's huge, manifesto. Thank you. I'm not used to that. This is very feels weird. Wow, I should have killed him there. I think he's gonna die. To the Yeah! He didn't go far away enough. <laughs> you gotta know your C4 range, okay? <laughs> I believe it's uh, from full health. It's a one shot in a 15 meter radius. And then it's a one shot in a vertical, vertical radius. Um, of 12.5 uh, meters. I believe those are the numbers. Unless I unless I remember wrong here. Yeah, basically, if you can hear the C4, you're probably too close. Like, there's a good chance you're too close if you can hear it. Yeah, less than PUBG jumping, huh? Did you see that, boys? <laughs> yeah. That was some high-level movement right there, by the way. driving too slow. This is this is actually overly risky right now. Still have a fight going on in there, I think. A rhyming like this. We're trying to understand what's going on, We're trying to assess the situation. Someone else out there with a sniper. Okay, he insists that we fight here. That's fine. Oh my god. If I could just be crouched there, I would for sure have hit him. Uh, that's a good one. Knocked with Molly. Oh my god, I hate self revive. They're so dumb in solo. It's so pointless. Was that. Was that the same guy or someone else? 
Nope, that's the same. That's a different guy. I actually probably would have just driven away if he didn't shoot my tires. So, he killed himself. All about trying to protect myself. Yeah, I was trying to shoot his legs <laughs> so I can get his fresh helmet. It's actually, <laughs> that was harder to focus his legs than I thought. But now I got a fresh helmet, nice. Okay, actually, maybe I don't want a car. And this circle is kind of an interesting circle. I think what I want is I want to quickly... Boost. And then I want to go on foot. Even though uh, being on foot on, on Vikendi, ugh, that's, that's, that's a pain in the butt. Because it's so flat. Um, I also think that too often in these situations, I would take a car and drive around. I had a, a game I won on Vikendi yesterday was, where I was driving around in this exact situation. I can take this, I'm, but uh, so we're going to do something different. Just for variety and we'll see what happens. The thing is, if you get caught out here, like if someone sees you and they start shooting at you, very often you, you cannot get to a cover. So you're just you're just dead. Look at look at how flat and open this is. This is so so poorly designed for um, late game solo. Like it's terrible. I think I think even in squats, people might have issues with this. Although in squats, you, you're probably gonna have a lot of throwables, like a lot of smokes and stuff, and you're not gonna rely so much on stealth as you do in solo. Like in solo, you rely often on not being spotted and the element of surprise. Where in squat, I mean, you can kind of brute force your way through it, smoke smoke up the place and all that kind of stuff. In solo, this is just, this doesn't work well. I have a lot of smokes. But in solo, like I said, you do rely a little bit on, well, you rely a lot on the element of surprise and the element of stealth. So if I toss a lot of smokes there, well, everybody knows I'm here. Everybody knows one person is crossing the street, right? I'm just trying to find people. You know, even if I spot somebody right now, it 
it's really hard to stop to shoot because doing that will well everybody will see exactly where i am and um i can get headshot by sniper i don't have a level three helmet so i'll have to wiggle if i want to shoot at somebody right now with the mk but i really can't see anybody wait i might see someone here what is going on here Yeah, someone was uh, in the bush. You saw, I, I, I didn't really want to wiggle here because I missed some shots because of that. Okay, so now my stealth is, well, no longer stealth. Oh my god these players i'm sorry you can play the way you want to but seriously literally just sitting <laughs> sitting not even from but just sitting with a ghillie suit in a bush <laughs> man it's more fun if people if people uh, play a little bit more um it's more fun for me, at least, right? I'm selfish, I know. It's more fun for me if people play a little more, um, you know, actively rather than passively sitting or being prone somewhere. It's just more fun fights if people shoot back. Okay, I'm gonna move. <clears throat> I, well, actually, you don't have to be aggressive in the end. You know, what, the, what these guys are doing is probably going to work very often. Um, I just, I, that's why I'm saying I'm selfish, right? Because I think it's boring when people do that. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Got a hit here. Are we prone again? Yeah, ultra prone. Everybody chooses to just be prone in a bush. So I guess the strategy of playing more uh, carefully and uh, playing less risky worked out. 